and welcome back to the channel on this video we are riding on a hot day let this guy pass me Boy, he, he's in quite a hurry, that guy. So, this is an extremely warm day or hot day. I guess you want to call it hot day when the temperature is approaching 100 degrees here. So, uh, I did want to get out and do a quick ride, do a video. Even though it is hot. So, my question to you is, do you ride in this kind of heat? If the temperature is above, say, 90 degrees, do you venture out or do you say, nah, not today? Because once it gets to 90, can you really tell the difference whether it's 90 or 100? And uh, I was thinking about this today at work. Would you rather ride in excessive heat or cold and you know i think i'd rather ride in a hot on a hot day than on an extremely cold day i'm talking cold when the temperature is below the freezing point or let's say would you go out if it's below zero the freezing point's not that bad, but below zero, would you go out in that? Or would you rather ride in temperatures well above 90 and say 100 degrees? I'd rather ride in the hot. Now, if you asked me this several years ago, I might have said, well, give me the cold, but I think as I get older, I tend to not like the cold as much. And, uh, Maybe don't mind the heat is bad, but I'll say one thing. I'm saying that answering that question here in Oregon where we don't really have humidity. So if you are living in the east and in the south, I think you might think differently and I might answer differently because humidity is not fun. When you factor in a pretty good uh, Humidex reading, ah, that gets very uncomfortable in a hurry. So this is different here. It's a lot drier heat. And uh, it's a lot more bearable here. And also here in Oregon, unlike in the east, I used to see all hazy sky. Never see a blue sky like this, you know, in the summer when it's warm out. But uh, here, we look, we get beautiful blue sky, although we did have earlier today uh, some kind of smog or smoke or something in the air a little bit. It didn't smell like smoke to me, though. And uh, not a lot, but enough to notice it. And uh, we do have a warning or a, an advisory for air quality. I do know that, so... But it doesn't look too bad now. The other thing about riding the bike in the heat is you get the little wind that you generate riding, so that kind of helps to keep you cool too. It's when you stop your bike where you really feel it. A 
Another uh, thing about winter riding or riding in the cold is you got to factor in as well that wind that you generate riding or if there's a wind out there as it is to go with it that makes it even more unbearable and then you could have other situations like uh, snow and blowing snow that can be nasty but I think I'd rather ride in the uh, excessive heat than I would in the extreme cold. Let me know in the comments your opinions on riding in hot weather or cold weather or do you even do it? Do you have like cutoffs where you're not gonna you're not gonna ride when the temperature is at this much or high wise or low wise I've had the uh, channel now the YouTube channel here for one year I'm into my second year now and I don't think there's been really a, a day that goes by that I haven't ridden so I've ridden in lots of different situations we don't get the extreme cold here but it can get cold enough and uh you know you can really feel it and and we've had ice snow i've done a few videos on riding in those conditions if you want to check back in some of the past videos on the channel i've got a little bit of that it's tricky I wouldn't recommend riding it in some of those conditions. Here in Oregon, they don't even, at least in more my area here in the Tiger King City area, they don't even uh, look after the roads. They just kind of let them go and let the cars fend for themselves. So in the winter, you get ice and snow build up on the road and it gets packed down by the cars. But yeah, I've done a few videos on that. If you want to go check them out, they're, they're quite the adventure, but it was doable. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video here on the channel. I think I'm going to go in where the air conditions blaring nice to have uh, central air for sure and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much for doing that just hit that subscribe button tell your friends about us and like I say we have lots of videos now over 300 videos over the course of the last year if you want to go check some of those past videos out there might be a video that interests you there or two and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time. Take care.